Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday and I've got a list of jobs in front of me here. And I thought, oh gosh, I should probably do some daily vlogging. This video has very kindly been sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is a platform for you to create beautiful websites your blog, your portfolio, show off what you do, run your business. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that later. But for now, I am gonna show you my daily, everyday makeup look. A lot of people ask me, Leah, just like that, they go, Leah, Leah, what do you put on your face? I thought, I may as well just do a little video showing you my everyday makeup, as well as getting through a few other things on my list. Actually, the majority of this is filming, editing, going to the gym, which I've already done. Tick. Cooking. Yeah, you can watch me cook later if you like. I actually did a poll on Instagram and I said, what do you guys want to see more of on this channel? The majority of people said, more of your boyfriend. <laughs> but I did get a lot of responses saying uh, weekly vlogs and daily vlogs. Let's go and do my makeup. I have just set up a little space here in my ensuite. Actually, this isn't my ensuite, what am I talking about? It was actually such a faff to find something the perfect height for me to film doing my makeup. So I haven't got a tripod the right height to go in front of the sink in the end. I just opened the cupboard and I've placed the camera there. Okay, so all I've done this morning so far on my face is I have been in the shower, I've exfoliated, but I do need to add that yesterday I had a facial and I do believe that that brings all of the toxins to the surface, which might be why I'm having a little bit of a breakout here, got some new friends going on. To doubly add to that, I've just come on my period. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of moisturizer from Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte's Magic Cream. I remember once getting my uh, makeup done at a Charlotte Tilbury makeup counter. She used this magic cream and I thought, yeah, love that. Joel and Leah, we got sent some at Christmas one time by the brand. Not sure why we got sent makeup. We're a male, female duo and I don't do any makeup videos but it was so nice I'm not complaining I'm gonna let that sink in one thing I have noticed recently with my makeup is that I've been getting really shiny and it turns out the, the foundation I was using was called Chanel Vita Lumiere it was amazing when I had really 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 dry skin and now that I've got a bit more of an oily combo skin it was making me look very shiny so i have switched out i decided to give this a go it's rimmel long lasting matte foundation it's full coverage i wouldn't usually use a full coverage on an everyday but if i could find a light version of this i totally would go for that you'll see when it goes on how mattifying it is but i'm going to use the primer underneath because that's also matte and i'm going to try and link up as many of these products in the description i'll use affiliate links which means it is the same price as buying it in a shop or online but if you do buy any of the stuff using those links then i receive a small percentage the primer's on let that sink in no changes yet i can only feel the changes my skin's so bad at the minute this is a bobby brown concealer I'm just gonna go over a few of these friends before we go in it's very weird doing your makeup on camera i used to be that girl that did my makeup on trains when i lived in london i got told once i love watching you do your makeup i thought i'm in the wrong job got the foundation and I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, it is It is quite a full coverage, let's be real. I've gone in for a little bit more, just putting in a little squidge more. It feels, it does feel a bit moussey actually. This side of my skin is so much better. I wonder if it's because I sleep like with my hands on my face sometimes. I actually decided to come off of those tablets I was on. For any of you that remember when I got those acne tablets, oh, oxytetracycline i believe they were called i came off them because i uh i actually have laser hair removal on my legs and i went in to have one of my treatments and the the lady that does my treatment said i can't treat you if you're taking this acne stuff because you're extremely light sensitive you will burn and then everything just clicked in place because I'd recently been to Athens and I burnt so much on that holiday, I couldn't believe it. My skin was looking great when I was on those acne tablets. So I'm just gonna go in, this is soft sand. Soft sand shade, just go quickly over. And I remember when I was using that liquid foundation from Chanel, this would be the only thing that would mattify it as soon as it was on. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury, very, very loved 
contour palette it's called film star bronze and glow go in with the one that you can tell i use quite a lot i think this is the dark one medium dark so there's there's two shades um i didn't pick that the lady that did my makeup on the counter did I highly recommend that service by the way i think it's 35 pounds to get your makeup done at charlotte tilbury counter they give you that money off any products that you buy i just sort of go this way that way up here a little bit over the nose just like ch -ch 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 -ch. hope you like the sound effects oh, i watched this makeup artist on youtube recently his name's wayne goss he's an absolute wizard and he really really knows what he's talking about he'd probably hate me if he knew i was using a toothbrush for my eyebrows so this is a toothbrush it's a it was a clean new toothbrush and i dedicated it just to eyebrows and after i've done my foundation and my powder a lot of stuff is just like collected in my brows so i like to just brush it all out and then i go in with my benefit foolproof brow powder I love this product so much and it's lasted me forever it looks like this and you get given this brush but i like to use a angled brush the reason being is i just feel like i can be a little bit more accurate it was lighter here by the way and darker here but i think because i've used it so much it's all kind of merged into one i like to take this and just i like to follow the natural shape of my brow and color in the bits that are a bit sparse so go underneath, fill that in, and it just, just looks like I've got a bit more brow going on. If you want to go like more for the shape, you can sort of, ch -ch 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 -ch. you can do a little bit of that. I'm quite lucky that I don't have super, super high maintenance eyebrows. I tweezed these this morning and it was the first time I've tweezed them in about three weeks. They didn't look that bad. And I was filming yesterday for John Leon. I didn't think twice that they looked bad. I love that saying that they are sisters, not twins, because they're never going to be perfect, are they? Eyeliner, eyebrows. It's as a general rule, the bit of your eyebrow should finish like a diagonal line up. But the reason why I don't believe that <laughs> is because surely you could just angle this whatever way you want to, and you'd be like, yep, yeah, may finish at the right place. Yeah, <laughs> apparently that's how you figure that out. I'm sure I'll find out in the comments the real way of figuring it out. Fun bit. <laughs> whenever my boyfriend sees me doing this he always thinks i'm doing surgery so i've got my eyelash curler now this was not something i used to do on the regular and i started doing it and i was like yeah that that's worth it i'm very jealous of people that have incredibly long eyelashes my friend christy backpacking bananas as she's known on youtube she's got the longest eyelashes i've ever seen in my life she's amazing I'm gonna go in for a bit of mascara on top of what i've done now i can feel that this mascara is running out this is the benefit their real mascara now if you're like me and you make mistakes when you're doing your makeup it doesn't matter because i just get a little cotton bud at the end of it and i clean up all of the mess but i let it dry i don't try and do it whilst it's wet uh other side if you're feeling really fancy you can do liquid eyeliner maybe we'll save that for another video though i'm one of those people who does pull my eyelid this way a little bit just so i've got a bigger surface area to work with and i'm i'm going to show this makeup in some natural light in a minute i've got two burt's bees products this is the coconut and pear that's meant to sort of like soften the lips before you get around to putting on a colored one that's how i do it anyway i always buy these when i'm in america they're better, better price burt's bees tinted lip balm in the color rose which i love nice color no complaints looks like lipstick but it's not so you can't get it wrong da, ba, da, ba. i don't do any eyeshadow on a daily look because i, I don't feel like I, I need to so i've just walked into the living room oh, i should have just done the makeup tutorial here why have i gone blue this camera is a bit weird i just bought the kettle and i'm gonna have a earl grey and rose tea from a company called off black and you'll see where I got this from in my subscription box that came through earlier. I'll insert the clip of that now. I still had a towel around my head and I just got back from the gym. I just got a delivery and I think I know what this is. So I'm going to open it on camera. I came across a flyer for a subscription box called Pink Parcel who send you a period subscription box every month. I reached out to them and they have sent me a period subscription box. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, nice. Doisy and Dam. I love this brand. This looks nice. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. And that's meant to be really good for spots, I've heard. Blue iron liquid iron for food supplement. Under eye mask. 
Ooh, deep conditioner for my hair. Highlighting cream, very nice. Okay, those are my tampons, which I chose. And for now, ooh, yeah. I like this little pouch you get. Thank you so much to Pink Parcel for sending me that. I can't wait to have the best period ever with your help. Thank you so, so much. I will leave a little link to them in my description. Let's see what it tastes like. I am also gonna try the Doisy and Dam chocolate from this box. I realize it's a different flavor to my favorite. Dipping it straight in the Earl Grey. Mm, mm, mm. Earl Grey and Rose, light, gentle, very nice. That's really good, I like that. Wearing my Vegas socks for the first time. <laughs> How hilarious are these? I'm gonna start putting them on on days where I feel like money is coming to me. <laughs> right, I've just ticked off about three things on my list, so that feels nice. However, it is 5 p.m. One thing that I didn't get to do today, which I still need to do, is register for an eye test somewhere. Um, opticians tend to have free eye tests here in the UK that you see it all the time, like, get your free eye test. Reason being is because I keep getting really, really bad headaches. I've been suffering with migraines some days, but most days just like that horrible, dull ache. Saturday was totally a write-off. I just couldn't have any sound. Um, I couldn't look at anything, Br bright lights, any screen. I just couldn't do it. So yeah, my grandma said that uh, it's a good idea to get your eyes tested when you're suffering with loads of headaches. I'm drinking so much water, so there's no way it's a uh, dehydration. Who remembers my amazing godmother from my Primark video? She got me this, it says, I'd rather be sipping champagne. It was the closest thing to Prosecco she could find. I love it. I have to do that thing that short people do though and like tuck up the apron. What am I making? I'm doing two recipes at once, so it's gonna get confusing. I think I'm gonna do my couscous first. Doing all of this, it's six servings and we need three meals each. And there's gonna be like a vegetarian curry thing over the top. Oh, my couscous, I feel bad for you. Sorry, couscous. Okay, because it's six meals and the chickpeas are in, I've split it into two pans because it was just going to be too much. Tomato sauce is going in. I hate it when it spits back. Don't spit. <laughs> As I said that, I spat. <laughs> Great. My little trick to get the rest of that out, just put some water in. What's well, not my trick? My grandma taught me that. Cool, cool, cool. Right. My couscous is here. My finished curry is here it doesn't look amazing but i've tried it and it really is very nice six wedges of lime and now i just need to box them up i've i've done three and i've still got so much mixture left probably gonna end up freezing a little bit of this all of my things are there cooling down i have just made this sausage tray bake i'm following my hello fresh recipe which is just here that's about to go in the oven and then i think i just need to make the gravy and then at will be home from work any minute now now. He's back. He's home. You impressed with my work? Do you want, do, I'm not even joking because you know that I like to be sarcastic, but genuinely I am. Really? Yeah. Did you think I'd have everything organised or did you think I'd start cooking when you got home? Um, I'll be honest, I actually forgot about it, but <laughs> I, this surprises me. Oh, you know what would be really nice with these bangers and mash? What? A little glass of red. Love a little... It's like the little mini one we had. Yeah. Bon appetit. Bon appetitos. Gonna sign off, but before I do, I just wanna talk to you a little bit more about Squarespace. Squarespace is a platform where you can create amazing websites, beautiful blogs. I'm starting mine on there, you can start yours. At the moment, I'm unsure exactly about what I want it to be, because if it's a written blog, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to constantly keep that updated. But what I can do is tell stories on there and just make it about, just sort of journaling. That's my idea at the moment. That might change. Oh, here he comes. Do you like Squarespace, Ash? I love Squarespace. Do you? Yeah, it's really good for making websites. It is, very much to is. To be honest, if I was gonna build my own website, I'd yeah. give Squarespace a go. Absolutely, and you could give it a go using my discount code, which is in the link in the description above the fold. So, Ash, please. Check out their amazing features they've got. Whether it's wanting to take advantage of their email features, their blogging features, shopping, 
creating a shopping cart so that your customers can buy stuff from your website. There's tons of things you can do on Squarespace and like I've said before, it's so easy to use because it's so, it's laid out for a normal person that's not an HTML wizard. Make sure to check that out and see you in the next video guys. I hope everyone is well. Cheers! A little bit of whiskey. Good night! Just kidding, it's apple juice.